Under the Dome Season 2 Episode 5, Reconciliation. Definitely a pretty interesting episode. We had some really cool moments, a lot of cool plot lines that are hopefully going to get really fleshed out early on or later on in this series. Um, some of them even converged, especially you know towards the end of the episode, about three different things kind of converged together. So it was a good episode. I enjoyed the main story of it where it's really just the town kind of going nuts after Big Jim and Rebecca tried to poison everybody and Julia takes over. And it's just one of those episodes where you see how stupid people can act when they're in crappy situations. And it's like, hey, we don't have all this food. We had a guy who's, who's been leading us for, I think they've been in there for months now as far as the show goes. But it's like, you know, we've been in here for months. This guy's been leading us. Every time the, something goes wrong, he's the guy, you know, that every, at least a lot of people assume he's the guy who's gotten us through it and stuff. He's the whole reason we're still alive when, of course... It's, he's not the reason but you still have dumb people where it's like this guy tried to poison us or at least you know poison the water so he killed off a certain amount of people he agreed to that plan and people still agree to follow that person and that type of stuff does happen people just are dumb like that it just happens but then you have people who are clearly against it but are against it a bit too much they're against it to the far extreme to the point where they're so mad that this person did that they're gonna kill them whether they get a trial or not and that's exactly what happened and this character Wendell who was just pissed off he gets killed which I thought was fairly ironic like the guy who I mean it was unreasonable that he was gonna kill Big Jim over it but at the same time kind of not when you think about it as crazy as he went he was the one who was thinking a lot more logical about it than the other guy who was like for some reason mad at julia like she was the reason that things were going wrong but wendell was the one who ends up getting shot and he gets shot by phil and that just leads to a crazy episode i what happened in this episode i never would have expected i didn't think phil would kind of just turn into like a bad guy at you know in this series he was just he was like the comic relief really in season one he was like the funny guy on the radio station and it was like him and his partner and both of them were just like kind of the comic relief of the entire series really they were just the good people trying to spread out all the information and you know do whatever they could to help the city give out any information they could contact with the military or try to hear certain things when they were um intercept signals and stuff like that they were just like the neutral people who were funny and trying to help everybody else. And then his partner got killed by Big Jim in the previous season. And with him dying in this episode, that kind of killed off a whole plot line that I thought they would have in the show. Where he would eventually find out that Big Jim was the one that killed his partner. Because he of course thought it was Barbie because Barbie kind of has that reputation with him being mysterious and knowing all the things that he knows. Like he has all these skills the little bit that people know about him makes him even more suspicious and he Phil never found out that it was actually Big Jim that did it and that kind of sucked to me because it was like he would at least sort of see the error of his ways just assuming it was Barbie and realizing who the real villain was and then he'd be just kind of back to his old self in a sense at least he would at least know who to target for um his friend's death but he gets killed in this episode because he kind of turned evil because it was like he was in the same thing. It was like he, for some reason, thought Julia was the problem. And he, you know, followed under Big Jim and he kind of took on his mentality a little. And when he killed Wendell, he had the argument with Julia. And so he quit and it just pushed him even more towards rooting for Big Jim. And that's why he, I guess, destroyed the um, mess with the fuses on the generator and caused it to blow up. And he moved all the food. And I thought I was thinking when he got busted, he made he didn't really he, he wasn't really smart about that. He was it was just he made it real obvious like I was the one that did it. So of course he had to uh, chase her down. I can't think of her name, but he had to chase her down. And then he had help, which really surprised me. It wasn't just Phil. It was like two other guys they showed. But he got help from the first guy to capture her. And then when Barbie came in, a third guy, I was like, they're just, like, coming out of nowhere to uh, help Phil out. But 
all three of them got defeated phil was actually killed and i don't know if they're gonna do sort of another trial and let people know like hey i mean they're gonna know the guy died because he was the the current sheriff so they're gonna know that he's dead now so they will probably have they probably won't be nearly as uh, big of a part of the episode where it's like another trial or anything for the two random extra characters but phil dying is gonna have an impact and they're gonna know that he was the one that did that it's gonna kind of change things within the city and it may or may not sway people against big jim knowing that his talk with phil is kind of what led him to that but with the way the episode ended with julia and big jim sort of you know well reconciling their differences it was an interesting way to end things and everyone was having the nice big feast because julia found out where all the food was really coming from and the uh woman's husband was just like a doomsday prepper so that was interesting when they first went in there i thought she's just a hoarder especially with everything that was outside her house it was like oh she's just happened to be a hoarder and she hid that for a long time no one knew they just never went to her house and she was a hoarder so she just happened to have all this food and that's why she had it but it was actually her husband who was kind of the hoarder but it was a, it was definitely a good episode i enjoyed that um big jim really seemed like he went back to his old self in this episode especially with the uh you have to win people over with the heart their hearts and minds stuff, uh speech so i enjoyed that it was like he it, once he said that it was like he's back to his old self but he wasn't I mean, he was the one who kind of told Phil to do that. I don't think he wanted Phil to go that crazy. I don't think he wanted that much. But maybe he did, because he does crazy. He was going to poison the city. What's a bomb? I mean, honestly, it's really the same thing. So, I mean, Rebecca didn't really say too much about it. But based off of what he was saying, he didn't really tell him to go that far with it. And Rebecca was right there. She could have said something. But, you know, she decided to change her mind because she saw how things really worked when someone who was actually decent and really did care about everybody was trying to protect the city but that was a great the main storyline i guess and then we have our other storyline with the kids and that kind of came to its boiling point which i thought was inevitable i didn't really think it was going to happen the way it did where um they just kissed like that but they did they got busted and then there was an argument and that's that was to be expected but uh it did lead to a really great point at the end of the episode where uh melanie asked rebecca to look at the blood samples and that i hope that does actually lead to something else but then that's kind of as i mentioned earlier where the storylines converge with junior and his uncle where they'd been looking for lyle who of course wasn't the killer and it was uh sam himself and he finds out who the other three hands are with that having happened it was a cool storyline it didn't end like i thought it would i thought sam was actually going to get busted but he just stopped because he got emotional and stuff and that was it but he destroys the uh picture and finds the other side of it where it has the number for the locker on it and lyle did find that in the book and he kicked the wall in and it you know, we find out that it's actually a tunnel and that's why that locker is so important and so it leads to something it might lead out of the dome i feel like that would be way too simple so i highly doubt it'll just lead out of the dome unless it's some sort of weird thing like it lead, like one person's able to leave the dome every however long or whatever but it definitely sort of converged everything and so there's a crazy tunnel in this locker sam for now has decided not to kill his nephew but once they meet up with lyle there's not much he can do he can say as much as he wants but as crazy as lyle is you can tell when he's just being crazy and when he's you know lying so i think junior's going to be able to find out the truth and rebecca will probably be there too because with her being the science character that she is she's going to want to know as much as she's going to want to look at the blood samples and figure out is there a genetic difference between uh melanie and joe i believe his name is i'm pretty sure curiosity is going to get to her and she's going to want to know where the heck does this giant random tunnel lead that's inside of the school so i'm excited for next week's episode it was definitely a good one this time um tensions i feel like they as much as they seem like they went down during the nice little feast that they had 
Phil's death is gonna bring is gonna take it back that they had like their nice little happy moment but when people find out that Phil's dead if they don't already know I feel like no one really knows at this point because they didn't even bother to mention it no, none of the extras even brought it up so I feel like no one really knows that just yet but they're gonna find out in in between episodes I guess and so everyone's gonna know or they will just find out next week and it'll kind of just take things right back it'll be tension like why would he do this was it because of big jam was it because of julia like her somehow being bad even though she was in charge for like a day and as if she did anything but i feel like it's just gonna bring attention right back and then we're gonna have our side story with this tunnel figuring out where it leads to and what it's important is but i'm definitely excited for next week's episode comment below let me know what you guys thought about this episode your favorite parts your least favorite parts and of course with this tunnel popping up and leading somewhere what do you guys think it's going to lead to for the story of this series because honestly i i can't really guess what it'll lead to i would like for it to be an escape at least for one person and then that kind of leads to lyle reaching uh junior's mother but i feel like even that isn't going to be the case so it'll probably just lead to like maybe it'll lead to another egg i think that it could possibly lead to another egg and that would make sense that she would have these visions and eventually she'd be led to a second egg through these visions so i think that that'll be my guess is that it'll lead to another egg and that that'll cause another chain reaction or something but what do you guys think the tunnel leads to and what do you guys think that's going to do for the plot comment below let me know and thanks for watching